Okay, guys, we're inside here now at Punta Cabela. None of the lights are on, just just for for y'all's information. Let me turn some of these lights on here. But it is very shady. It's not like this is, we have this front awkward kind of living area room right up from the back, guys. That is just kind of a choppy floor plan. Although it is lovely. These floors are fantastic. We've got beautiful flooring here. As soon as you walk through the door, you see the outside of the house, but you look right at the other house. And I know that's probably not going to be desirable for you guys. This master is fantastic, really nice. It does have a small screen in lanai. I don't think we probably need to take a look at this, guys, but it's up to you. We can. I just think the other one is a, is a hit, and it's also, hey, guys, it's also 10 grand less. So it's a little bit... Um, one sink in the master bedroom. They've got a, that nice cabinet there for storage, but it looks like it might need a little bit more storage in the master bath. And the shower is updated and nice. Step in shower, guys. And I'm going to turn this light out so I can cruise in. This is the lanai. It is nice. It's already here. From the master, there's sliding doors here. But we're sitting here, we're going to look right at the street since on the side of the house, your view from the lanai and at your neighbor's backyard there. But it is really nice and lovely back here. They've got a little path. So let's go, go see the rest. Two big closets in the master also. Got these great hardwoods. So we have another little sitting area here. Really the only living area is that front room, guys, in this outside space. This is the kitchen here. Very lovely, nice wood cabinets, nice wide open. So you can get the feel for it. That's where we walked in. And here's Lanai. Let's see if I can get out there on our next trip around. And it is a split floor plan, so looks like we've got bedrooms here. We've got inside laundry and a garage. Inside laundry. Second bath, very nice, not totally decked out, but definitely replaced on the pedestal. This is the shower here, very nice, well kept, and I think we're going to be able to go out. This is the outside from the bathroom you can walk outside if someone would have put a pool here which you had plenty of room to do so it looks like so they have a little really nice little foliage area here with some growth and your fireplace that's your neighbor's house and the lanai it's a nice size about twice the space of the new builds on the lanai this is very nice. You guys might might want to take a look. Just let me know when I, after I send it to you. And we're back here in the bathroom. And we've got our two bedrooms here. There we go. Two bedrooms, nice size, walk-in closet. So the other ones, the bedrooms are a little bit smaller. On Posadas, uh, just a tad bit smaller, and you have a whole lot more living area. This is really nice for the guest room also. This one is priced 10000 above. The sellers are a little bit more motivated, I think, on Posadas, guys. But it's really a matter of what you love. So, here we are. Punta Cabela House. This is very nice, this living area here on this nice floor that they put in. Lovely. And you know the architecture we can live with, I think, guys. Kept up very well. And so this is Punta Cabela. And as we walk in again, I just want you guys to see, we're walking right into this front living area. It's all open, but it's a little cramped in front here. Okay. See you guys this weekend.